taking you the rest of the way. Here's Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Brandon. Out is the kickoff unit as they run up and send this one away. Now it's Patterson. Now a crease here as he's past the 30. And they're going to start this drive in pretty good shape up past the 30. So here are the Bears now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. They were able to get the ball back here, didn't surrender any points. Now they'll look to add to that lead. And how about the boost the defense gave them? Going right out on the field, shutting them down, not giving up any points, and turning the ball back over. They want to do their part now and show them a little respect and some gratitude by scoring some points. And to get a little more cushion. Two yards, the loss, second and 12. Man, I just love being in this stadium. So much history, tradition, so many great teams and games. And Blitz coming and down he goes. Let's go, come on! Well, there was second long, now it's third and even longer. They're going in the wrong direction here. Because they're moving exactly the way they want to, but you're exactly right definitely going in the wrong direction for the offensive guys. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. Out of the gun, Trubisky. And he finds his tight end, Graham. And they'll bring him down at the 27-yard line. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. Pulled in at the 24. A nice return there of 11 to help mitigate a good punt. The Dolphins offense now working their way back onto the field. They've got good starting field position as they come up here first and 10 at their 35-yard line. Out of the gun, it's Marino. Quick slant to Brown. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Right off the bat, it's a first down to start the drive, 12 yards. Well, that certainly has to feel good. It's not all the time that the play caller should get all the credit. Sometimes I think in the huddle, the quarterback just says, hey, who's going to make a play for me? I just need something right here. And the end result there, nice first down. Drive keeps... This is caught inside the 15. And all the way in for a Miami touchdown. A.J. Brown, 52 yards as they have taken the lead. And another touchdown pass for Dan Marino. Always had the big arm, always had great touch as well, but that's going to go back, partner. 1984, I watched a phenomenon. Second year in the league for Dan Marino. How about these numbers? 5,084 yards passing, 48 touchdowns, 64% completions, and a 109 quarterback rating. All were career highs, set in his second year, and the Dolphins went to the Super Bowl where they played the 49ers. The kickoff unit is out on the field, and they will send this one away. That'll be taken about a yard deep. And only able to get this to the 19, so probably should have opted for the touchback. At their own 19 yard line. This offense led by Mitchell Trubisky going to make their way back out there. He's hoping to channel his first half play. They had the lead at halftime, was playing well. Flipped the script here in the third quarter a little bit. I think he misses the Pee Wee days, you know? <laughs> when you just got the orange slice yeah. at halftime, right? <laughs> and remember, weren't any real adjustments then, right? You weren't looking at some tape, right? You weren't looking at stuff off of the, the Surface tablets. He just went back out and played. Right now, maybe the adjustments have caught up to him. Well, we'll see. Maybe he just needs a couple orange slices here for this drive. A second and 11 from the 19. From the gun, it's Trubisky. Now the pressure comes, and he goes down. Just inside the 10, back at the 9. Patrick Willis gets 
gets him for a loss of 10 yards from his linebacker spot. So the opening drive of this third quarter, they're trying to set the tone for the second half. And without a doubt, they did exactly that. I've known coaches who have said the first five minutes of each half are so important to do exactly what you said, which is set the tone. I've also heard coaches talk about the first five plays. Let's go out and be aggressive right off the top. That's exactly what they did. After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. From the shotgun is Trubisky. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Two things you can do in that situation. Run and punt the football or try and take your shot at getting the first down. They chose the latter, but they'll have to punt all the same. O'Donnell, he's on to punt as he gets this one away. Fielded at the 43. Yeah, he will go out right near the 35-yard line. 21 yards. Well done on the return. And the Dolphins will begin this drive in great field position, first and 10. Now Marino and the rest of the offensive crew getting ready for their next drive. He is looking to help his team build their lead after trailing at halftime. They've got to like the spot they're in right now. They have to love it, but as you and I both know, cliche alert coming here. You're only as good as your last possession, but I think that they like, as you said, the spot they're in and how confidently they're playing at this point. Right, but again, just a one possession lead, looking to expand that now. Kyle Fuller, the one to make the tackle. The run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Marino here from the gun. He'll get the first down and more inside the 20. And down to the 19-yard line. 12 yards there and a first down. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. From the shotgun, Marino. To the end zone, but knocked away and incomplete. Robert Woods, former USC man, the intended target. And that'll bring up second down. Marino sets up. Looking in zone, but it's incomplete. They were looking for Johnson that time. And it's third down. Here we go again with Marino. And that's going to be incomplete. The contact there enough to jar that ball free. And it brings up fourth down. Tiger pass on for the field goal. The kick by Bass is good. And the drive will wind up yielding three. 19, Bears 12. So the drive stalls out inside the 15-yard line, but they do get three. And I've talked with enough players nowadays that when they have these types of kicks, that no one says to their guy, hey, that's just like making an extra point, piece of cake. Because the extra point is not a piece of cake anymore. <laughs> but kicking a field goal from that distance, just give him confidence and let him knock it through. And he will be taken down here on the return on what will wind up being the final play of this third quarter. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And they're coming off a three and out, my friend. I think they've got to look at that play sheet. And he can't get rid of it. He's taken down. John Randall picks up his second sack of the afternoon. Okay, was it a breakdown in protection? Did the running back not pick him up? What does it really matter? Sometimes it's just a great play made by the defense. Big time sack. After the sack, it's second and 19, and the road gets a bit tougher from here. Another try after the first down sack. Trubisky, and that is incomplete. A lot of force bearing down on him there. He could not hang on. It's third down. No coverage bust by the defense here. They did a nice job accounting for everybody, and that led to an incompletion. Now Trubisky on third and long. And that is incomplete. Love the idea, love the concept, but you got to leave a little room on the sideline so he can fade into it when he makes the catch. That was thrown too close to it for the receiver to make a play. 
Taken right around the 44. And just a net of 31 here. 40-yard punt, 9 on the return. And this offense, they're going to have excellent field position. They take over with a first and 10 on the short side of the field. First down. He's going to let this go. Back of the end zone. And look at this. They get the turnover they needed. It's intercepted. Picked off by Kyle Ford. A seismic shift in momentum here in the fourth quarter. That's the break that the defense needed. And you know as well as I do, people don't question the play call in that situation. Sometimes you have to question the execution, not necessarily the call. And in this case, those... team a chance. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. Out of the gun, he'll throw. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. So much for the best laid plans and best designed plays. That was good coverage along the sidelines. No place for that one to get in there. It sails incomplete. Got a man, it's Patterson complete. And they're going to have this across midfield and inside the 45. The big gainer there on the catch and run, 37 yards. The teams practice their plays during the week. They're hoping that it's going to pay off on game day. So it sure has to feel good for them when they hit them during a the game. And they hit that one there for big yardage. Rolling to his left. Now he'll pull it down. He'll get five out of the scramble. It's second down. They brought the blitz that time, and I thought they were going to get to him, but instead he flipped it on its ear and ended up picking up positive yardage. I thought he was dead to rights, but you are exactly correct, sir. Able to turn that into a positive game. And he will find his man on the end round. Complete. A gain of five. Good enough for the first down. First and ten at the 33-yard line. Here's Trubisky. He'll buy some time right. Oh, no, he lost the football. And this is picked up by the Dolphins. And this one will be returned to right around the 38-yard line. Well, we know he's got the speed to get downfield, Charles, but there's the negative side, a little loose with the football that time. And that's normal, especially when you have his type of talents because you feel like you're into the open field and maybe you don't feel the people who are around you or closing in. All quarterbacks have to do extra ball security drills with the way the game's played now because defenses, they attack the football as much as they attack the runner. A throw left side to start out. That's complete. No gain there on the completion. Second and ten. Got to give credit where it's due. Really nice defense on that play. The pitch and catch was successful, but not any run after it. Had the completed pass, but for no gain, stopped right at the line, so it's second and ten. Now Marino to throw it. Right side complete. That's Woods. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. So the Dolphins have it as we welcome you back in. Not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And now right out of the two-minute break, we'll get a timeout used defensively with a minute 56 to go. Second down at six now from the 42. They'll keep it on the ground. It's George. And he'll get inside the 40 to maybe the 38-yard line. And now with 152 to go, we get another pause in the action. A timeout here defensively. running back and he is going to have the Dolphins first down by about a yard as they're able to convert on third and two a three-yard gain and enough for the first down first down Miami now a handoff looking right 
yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. The recipe's pretty simple, I think, right? Just <laughs> give your superstar the ball, continue to feed him. Yeah, don't overthink this one, right? Make sure he's touching the football, but you're also counting on his intelligence and in playing the game as well. If it's not and he'll take this into the end zone for a Dolphins touchdown. Maurice Jones-Drew. His second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Dolphins are able to extend that advantage. Well, partner, that was another explosive run. And one thing I've learned in our time in this game, yes, the offensive line has to get a lot of credit. But for big runs to occur, the wide receivers have to block well downfield. And then you have to have a good guy carrying the ball too, right? Oh, without a doubt. You need that difference maker lugging the rock. And the lead is up to 14. So that winds up a seven-play drive all told. And the last play, a really nice run that culminated in the touchdown. Set now to kick this one away, and off it goes. And his guys will get the football right at the 20-yard line. The Bears take over first and 10. Their own Here comes the Miami defense. They make their way back onto the field. Big swing play. Last time they were out there, looked like they might yield some points. They recovered a fumble, and it turned into a touchdown on the other side. In a lot of ways, you can say that maybe at a minimum that was a 10-point swing. The field goal that it looked like they were going to give up at a minimum. Instead, they take it the other way, turn it into a touchdown, give them seven. By my math, that's a 10-point swing. And your math's always right. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And that's going to be too high. Out of bounds and incomplete. They're down two scores, and they need a quick one to try and get back into this one. That was one way to try and get it done. Unsuccessful in the attempt, but they have no choice but to keep trying. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Now Trubisky to throw. It's caught on the right side by Robinson. And he will have the Bears first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, that's one way to convert on third down, picking up 26 yards. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. It's now second and 10. Again, it's Trubisky. And that is incomplete. What are you doing? They come up to the line now, facing a third and ten after the incompletion. Throwing once more, it's Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. Has to be a little bit of frustration there. Back-to-back -back incompletions. Receivers blanketed on both attempts, this time on third down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. And this is intercepted, and that should do it. Picked up by Keanu Neal. And the return out shy of midfield to the 46-yard line. This spot in the fourth quarter with that deficit had to throw the football. Unfortunately, there's the risk of big turnover. And you know you're going to be throwing against nickel, dime, all sorts of exotic defenses, but you have to do it anyway. Ordinarily, you might want to run the football a little bit, try and get them out of it. But as you noted, this time of the game, at this point on the clock, had to throw it. And down he goes at the 49, a three-yard pickup. Akeem Hicks that time on the tackle. Brings up second and seven. On second down now. It's George. He's got a first down and then some inside the 40. And finally taken down at the 35-yard line. Congratulations on yet another victory. Now you can go right to the next challenge if there's another one available or return to challenges to receive your reward.